Okay, now the router is about 150 feet from here and there are a lot of trees and two walls between uh, this antenna and the router. So now I'm going to uh, put on the windsurfer and see what difference it will make in my signal. At this point, I'll go over here to the computer. We see that uh, I'm running about in, in uh, signal strength about 24 thereabouts. Now I'm going to try it with uh, my homebrew job. Isn't this something? Basically, it's just a fruit juice can, and it's about four and a quarter inches wide and uh, foil backing here. So let's try my rig in a little bit, but first of all uh, I'm going to try the wind surfer here that I made for this antenna. I'm going to slip it on there and see if we can uh, make some gain here. With the wind surfer. Alright, now I'm going to go back over and see where we are. Oh, went up a little bit. Oh, there it jumped. It jumped up higher. You know, it fluctuates a lot. Uh, these always do. So we're up to about 34, so we did gain. What were we, 24 before? Gained about 10%. Uh, That's not bad. Now I'm going to adjust the wind surfer a little and I'll turn this off meanwhile, but I'm going to do some adjusting, see if I can get well, higher than that. 34% is about as good as I can do. I lost it for a while there. I didn't think I was going to get it back, but I finally did. Okay, now I'm going to try my my rig. I don't know what I'd call that besides junky looking thing. Okay, here's my little rig, and I just set it up there. I have, of course, tested it already quite a few times. I've I've been using a windsurfer for years, and so this is just uh, a little design of my own I came up with recently. What I have found is uh, that the I'm using this uh, magnetized antenna, and by the way, when you buy uh, an internal adapter for your computer, make sure you get one that has uh, comes with one of these antennas that has the the cord to it, so you can get the antenna out away from the computer. And I found by setting the antenna off to the side here. Now, actually, my router is directly this way, right on. You'd think I'd set the antenna in the middle, but actually, I get a poor signal if I set it there. Over here, I uh, set it up. Now, this is what I've been used to doing. I haven't checked it yet. I'm going to look on the screen to see what, I'm, what I've got. But uh, I want you to understand, too, that I have it on this metal can. And... Uh, that's why I use these. I stack these up to uh, check the windsurfer so I'd be at the same height. Okay, now I'm going to go back over here to the computer and see what we've got. Well, now we're doing significantly better uh, up to 44. And I know for a fact that I can get it up to 54. I've even gotten very close to 60% with this one. There, jump to 46. But that's without even doing any fussy adjusting. Uh, this for some reason works uh, and I'm not really sure why <laughs> but uh, I just basically you know try different things and tinkered around until I got this okay I'm gonna see am I improving it over now it's still staying about 46 percent all right I'm gonna turn and it and this is crucial this is with a windsurfer or with any of these types of uh, directional antennas uh, you might think, oh, you can just set it and pointing in a general direction. That's not true. These things are touchy. The least little turn. Sometimes uh, a sixteenth of an inch makes all the difference in the world. And then, too, the location of this antenna on this can is magnetized. It doesn't want to pick up. But um, this is crucial. Like I say, if I put it over here, the signal is going to, excuse me, get the camera over here. If I put this antenna back here in the center, uh, my signal is going to drop right out. If I put it here, it's going to be a lousy signal. For some reason, over to this one corner, uh, and, and that's where I get my best signal. Now what changes things is uh, revolving the can. 
and then coming back and changing the distance of this antenna in relationship to the foil. That's crucial. It can make a 10% difference in the signal like nothing. Uh, so I don't know where I'm at right now on that uh, thing, but anyways, uh, it usually runs when I'm uh, doing my normal surfing. It runs uh, usually right around 50%. Not bad for having my router of some 150 feet away with two like uh, 20 to 35 foot pine trees in between uh, my antenna and my router and uh, plus going through two or three walls one wall being solid brick wall okay that's it this is my high-tech device try it maybe you'll like it